The hearing of the Subcommittee on the Constitution, Civil Rights and Civil Liberties will come to order. Um, we'll begin with uh, recognize myself for an opening statement. Today's hearing gives the members of the committee the opportunity to review the USA Patriot Act, three provisions of which are scheduled to expire later this year. These three provisions dealing with roving wiretap authority, expansion of definition of an agent of a foreign power to include so-called lone wolves, and Section 215, which allows the government to obtain business records using an order from the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance or FI FISA Court, have aroused a great deal of controversy and concern. While some have argued that each of these authorities remain necessary tools in the fight against terrorism and that they must be extended without any modifications, others have counseled careful review and modification. Some have even urged that we allow some or all of these authorities to sunset. Additionally, I believe that we should not miss the opportunity to review the act in its entirety, to examine how it is working, where it has been successful, and where it may need improvement. For example, I have introduced for the last few years the National Security Letters Reform Act, which would make some vital improvements to the current law in order better to protect civil liberties while ensuring that NSLs remain a useful tool in national security investigations. And Section 215 must be amended to conform to the changes we seek to make to the NSL provisions. I have long believed that civil liberties and national security need not be in conflict, and I hope to work with my colleagues to strike that balance in a responsible and effective manner. We have some outstanding witnesses today with a great deal of experience and knowledge in this area. I am especially pleased that the administration has sent a witness to assist the committee in its work and to explain the administration's views. I would note that Mr. Hinnon's testimony states at the very outset, and I think it merits repeating, that the administration is, quote, ready and willing to work with members on any specific proposals we may have to craft legislation that both provides effective investigative authorities and protects privacy and civil liberties, close quote. Whatever disagreements we may have in any particular provision or approach, I want to note that this attitude is a refreshing break with recent practice. We take the administration at its word, and I, for one, intend to hold it to that. I look forward to working with the administration and with my colleagues to craft legislation that protects our national security and our fundamental values. I look forward to the testimony, and I thank, <laughs> and I thank our witnesses for being here today.